I understand it. So if you want to talk about MMA, I'd like to talk to MMA about someone else who knows yeah. MMA. There's a lot of currency in being a Stephen A. Smith. You yeah. know, he's really entertaining. That that shit talking that he does, he's a he's you know he's a, he's a guy that's fun to watch. He talks a lot of. He gets real loud, and everybody disagrees with him. And Joe didn't stop there. He went on a 10-minute rant on why Stephen A. Smith isn't good for the sport of MMA, and why he shouldn't be covering a sport he doesn't know anything about. He also goes on to say how he hates sportscasters who talks down on athletes, and how commentating MMA and commentating football and basketball are two totally different things, because in MMA, you could lose your life. He always falls apart. That guy, that needs to give his money back he sucks he this and that and the other guy's like oh i can't believe you're saying that and you could do that in sports radio yep. and people love it i hate that this sport demands a different perspective it's it's not the same thing as a ball going into a hoop no. it's not the same thing as crossing a line with a football i think joe rogan was mostly upset at stephen a calling donald cerrone a quitter who is a legend of the sport and because once again, this is the biggest fight of the year, and he is forced to cover the fight alongside someone who doesn't know much of the sport. When there are other people who are experts who Stephen A. Smith is taking that opportunity from. If you don't know what you're talking about, and you're talking about it in front of millions of people, like, man, that's a bad look for everybody. Yep. It's a bad look for ESPN, it's a bad look for him, it's a bad look for the sport. It's like, there's other people that can do this. Now, it didn't take long for Stephen A to hear Joe Rogan's podcast, and he would post this video to his social media. Me, Stephen A. Smith, me being at the Conor McGregor fight against Cowboy Cerrone, saying what I said that he didn't show us much in 40 seconds, that warrants, it's not good for the sport, it's not good for me, it's not good for ESPN, First of all, as it pertains to ESPN, check the numbers. Certainly don't claim to be the aficionado you are or anybody else covering this sport, but excuse me, I have been a reporter for 25 years. I have covered sports on a variety of competitive levels regardless of what the sport is. That includes boxing and UFC. So honestly, I don't hate Stephen A's response video. I mean, for the record, Joe Rogan did go on the most popular podcast in the world and pretty much trashed him for 10 minutes straight. So I do understand why Stephen A. Smith felt like he needed to make this video. Stephen A. pretty much stood on everything he said. He thinks Joe Rogan is still wrong. And he even said he would be willing to sit down and discuss their issue in person. I'll state it next week, next month, next year. I stand by that. And I don't think disagreeing with that position warrants the kind of criticism that came in my direction. Having said that, you're entitled. You have your right, just like I have my right to respond, as I'm doing right now. But anytime you want to talk to me about this fight, or you want to talk to me about my credentials to discuss something in a world of sports, name the time and place Joe Rogan now show up. So you would think that this would be the end of their beef, but Joe Rogan didn't drop it there. He saw Stephen A's response video and would address it on his next podcast. No, I... I was upset at Stephen A. Smith. He made a video I responding saw, yeah. to me. Stephen A. Smith, I guess I should respond, right? Uh, you're a very entertaining guy, but you're wrong. So so Stephen A. Smith responded, and then Connor responded. And yeah, Connor, yeah, I seen that. Connor told him to apologize. Yeah. That is correct. Connor McGregor also got involved, and he tweeted this to Stephen A. Smith. The call you discuss here is A+. I didn't show enough. I'm not paid by the hour, though. Joe's comments, however, come from you saying the opposition fighter quit. Broken nose slash orbital bones say different. Fighting is vicious. Those who make the walk deserve full respect. Apologize. Joe Rogan would continue to double down on his previous statements that he feels Stephen A shouldn't be commentating any MMA fights. I just think that this sport demands more appreciation, more respect, and it, it demands uh, a higher level of reverence to the athletes who literally put, put their lives on the line. So as of October of 2022, Stephen A. Smith and Joe Rogan have not gotten into any public disputes and haven't even mentioned each other on social media. And at the end of the day, these are two guys who do have respect for one another. But nonetheless, this is what happens when two of the biggest stars in their respected fields clash on live television. And if you enjoyed this video, watch this video next.